A second of your time, please. Mind a 20. Imperial intelligence. What exactly is Imperial intelligence? The information gathering and internal security arm of the Empire. We report to the Minister of Intelligence, who reports directly to the Dark Council. You're a new face on Droman Kars. That presents a unique opportunity and a small window in which to use it. I need you to meet a man. Go where he says and do what he asks. There's little danger, but you must not question him. I've never played spy before. Tell me where to go. The man is named Manda, and he is in a local cantina. Tell him the Lord of Sorrow sent you. Good luck. We will not speak again. Seven brutal bloody murders. Seven. And the killer is allowed to walk free. Decent, law-abiding citizens, loyal servants of the Emperor, are being slaughtered. And what do our security forces do? Nothing. I've seen the killer myself, but the authorities say I don't have enough proof. I demand justice. How exactly is telling me supposed to help? Well, I, I'm not fit to confront such an individual, but someone has to. Several days ago, I spotted a bounty hunter following people seemingly at random, but pointing a strange device at them. The descriptions of the murder victims exactly match the people the hunter was following. He's behind these brutal killings. I know it. I admire any killer who leaves her fainter trail. Ah, but he didn't elude detection, my lord. I saw him, and now I'll make certain everyone knows his name. I followed the killer this morning. Saw the filthy alien skulking into the Mandalorian enclave. Someone called him by name, Redigan. This bounty hunter must learn the Empire doesn't tolerate alien scum like him killing its citizens. He needs to be punished. Commander, the Lord of Sorrow sent me. Listen carefully. I can say this once. A Chiss security officer stands at the bank. Hand him this gambling chip. He will give you a small item and further instructions. Now walk away casually. I have a gambling chip for you. And I have a package for you. Do not open it. Better if you don't even look at it. There is an NK line droid. I'll show you where to find it. The package goes there. Long live the Emperor. I have a package for you. For me? How wonderful. And I, in turn, have something for you to show appreciation. If we have not caught the Republic's attention with this sequence, they simply aren't paying attention. Empire forever. I've got a shuttle to catch. You mind getting out of my way? You've been found guilty of murder, Renegan. Any last words? Hang on. I haven't murdered anybody, at least not the people you think I killed. You've been listening to Wrightson. Great. Listen, I didn't murder anybody. I was just hired to tag some random citizens, that's all. You admit you're mixed up in these brutal murders, then? No! I never touched any of those victims. My clients did all the killings. I was hired by a group of Sith to organize games for them. Didn't realize what that meant until bodies started piling up. When I confronted them, they laughed. Said Sith have a birthright to hunt lowlifes. It's like a sport to them. 
No good can come of this. Sooner or later, there'll be a witness to one of these killings. I don't want to be around when that happens. I'm in over my head, and too many people are watching me now. So I can't even leave. I need help, and I'm willing to pay for it. Are you interested? Don't drag me into your mess. Clean it up yourself. There's no risk to you, I swear. No way this will come back on you. Tell me what to do. I just want this problem to go away. And I only see two ways for that to happen. Either get rid of the loudmouth pointing fingers at me, or end that sick game the Sith are playing. I think your clients need to find a new hobby. Works for me. I'll have a plan that'll get them so good, no one will have to worry about Fallout. Take this hunter tag. Use it on Sith Acolytes all around the city. The Acolytes will become my clients' new targets. Don't worry. I'll make sure they survive. Come back when you're done, and I'll pay you. My clients already ambushed one of the acolytes you tagged. Wish I could have been there. Attacking Sith is a major crime, even for other Sith. I sent the authorities an anonymous tip to watch the acolytes closely. When my clients jumped the ones you tagged, they were arrested and executed. Best work I've done in a long time. Quite the little mastermind, aren't you? I'm just glad that acolyte wasn't hurt. Got enough blood on my hands as it is. My loudmouth friend ought to shut up. Now that the killers have been caught, that should make life easier. Here, take these credits. Couldn't have pulled this off without you. See you around, friend. My lord, I have reports from the conflict with the Republic. You have my thanks. You are, if I'm not mistaken, the young Sith who took the Brental Star, yes? Tell me, what were your impressions of the Republic forces you fought? One Imperial soldier is worth twenty, thirty of the Republic's grunts. Then this should be a very short war. I thank you for your insight in these reports. If you'll excuse me, I must study them before giving the Minister of War his marching orders. Are you acquainted with a big, ugly, half-machine Dark Lord? He had a message for you. Damn Scotia! What business has he, going behind my back, speaking to my apprentice? Trying to intimidate you, no doubt. Wretched monster. More machine than man and dangerously powerful. Now, ever since I arrived on Dromund Kass as an apprentice, he's made every effort to stand in my way. Ustaitnians and Barana, Rahitis ni Aino. Ultimately, we cannot even begin the search for Tulakhod's ancient power with Scotia's rattling breath on our necks. Somebody should stop him from breathing, then. Yes, and that somebody is you. You are going to kill Scotia for me. Finally, a challenge worthy of me. Good. That is precisely the attitude you'll need. I cannot be tied to Scotia's murder. Brazen power plays make the Dark Council nervous. But nobody will believe that a mere apprentice could defeat Scotia. It's impossible, and that's why it will work. The impossible's my speciality. So it seems. I've begun to piece together the puzzle for Darth Scotia's destruction, but some elements have yet to fall into place. Out in the jungle, a group of slaves has recently revolted. They were working on a colossal statue that has since gone unfinished. I believe Scotia is hiding something of great importance near this statue. Get the archaeological plans to the area from one of the slaves, and contact me by holocommunicator. 
In piso ze waitai spila pressing kretai. In piso e wanata atragata injais. Exactly as reported. A degree six revolt, population equivalent to the Duros uprising on Zilior. Subjects occupy a moderate radius of jungle. Good. Good. Welcome, apprentice. Your timing couldn't be better. I am Lord Drow. When the Empire encounters resistance on its conquered worlds, they call me. I'm here to end the slave uprising on Drummond Kass. You enjoy your job, don't you? Dominating lesser beings and squashing their will to resist? Of course I enjoy it. I think you will too. The situation is this. A Sith Lord was constructing a colossal statue of himself in the jungle. His slaves revolted and armed themselves. The Colossus remains unfinished and well-armed slaves now control the jungle. An embarrassment for the Empire, but an opportunity for me. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to thin the slave population. Slave deaths will be a byproduct of my plan, but not the focus. I'm testing a toxic weapon, a poison called Quell. Its victims experience a prolonged state of agonizing pain before finally dying. The victims' allies are so horrified by Quell's effects, they lose their wills to resist. At least that's what I intend to prove. What a disturbing experiment. You're quite the sadist, Lord Drowl. Please, there's no need for flattery. I need someone to introduce a controlled amount of quell into the slave's water supply, so that I can determine the proper dosage. The work is dangerous, there will be armed slaves everywhere, but your success will be well rewarded. What do you say? I'll always aid in the advancement of the killing sciences. I suspected as much. My assistant, Sergeant Slerin, will recommend the correct dosage of quell and give you a supply. See him at the research tent. Ufar Alezi Rekicheja. If I know Lord Drow's tastes, which unfortunately I do, he sent you for the quell toxin. The sooner we get this done, the better. Impatient? Of course you are. My superior certainly knows how to choose his assistants. What if I told you this experiment is pointless? That past studies have shown increased suffering has no impact on the speed of surrender. This has nothing to do with accelerating the end of a rebellion. Lord Drow simply takes perverse thrill in gratuitous suffering. What exactly is the problem again? It's a matter of efficiency. There's no good reason why our mission here must be prolonged. I want this assignment over with. The faster this rebellion ends, the faster I'll be reassigned to more important work. Serving Lord Drow's bloodlust has stunted my career. If not for his inefficiency, I'd be a captain by now. If you let others block your progress, you deserve to fail. Why do you think we're having this discussion? Lord Drow's dosage of quell toxin will have slaves writhing in agony for pointless weeks, during which this area will remain volatile. I've prepared a dose that will kill the slaves efficiently which is better for the Empire and for me. Will you deliver my dosage instead? I want these renegade slaves to pay for disobeying the Empire. You're not merely prolonging the slaves' agony, but my own as well. Committed to your work, aren't you? Very well. Take the quell toxin and inject it into the slave camp's water filtration systems. See Lord Drow for your payment when you're done. Heifst. <laughs> 